it's time to just change your shirt. Yeah. Not gonna impress Chris no matter what. Just, you know? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How did you know that? Daddy likes to such a loser. Likes to make boy. What's good? What's up, man? Bob's on time. A little tired. That's good game. It's my fucking dog right here. That was no sad, man. I thought you were leaving me. That's good. Did I lead the workout? Yeah. Eyes look like it's bad. He left the whole night. See how you're feeling right here. Let's pull up. That's sexy. Nice game. Get it if you have the balcony. Get How did the orange one fly off? I just got off a two day bendy. Don't judge my barrel, boys. We have a month and like six days before we're no boys bodybuilding show. Chris said he's down to uh, pull up and judge potentially. We're gonna let the fans. We're gonna let the fans vote. Y'all, swift shoulders. Don't worry, don't worry about Please. an oh, amp when you put this stuff together for you, eh? Oh, yeah, he was fired up. My body from breaking. Yeah. So I've been doing like really light workouts and shit, but we can push a little harder today. How does that work after like competition? You have to take like time off? You don't have to, but I only compete once a year, so yeah. I usually take like eight weeks off like completely, sometimes really? longer. And I just like, like chill. no lifting. I like, well, a yeah. few years I've done no lifting at all. It was stuff. Does that drive you crazy? Not really, no. Because I usually get really busy after. Cause I like lock down and prep, and then afterwards I have a bunch of shit to catch up on. So I'm like traveling a lot, seeing family, work, travel, all this shit. And then I, by the next thing I know, it's been like three months and I've been to the gym. So. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, what the fuck? I can't wear the shirt. I wear the sweater. <laughs> Yo, can I go shirtless for today? You can do whatever you want. All right, sounds good. I thought everyone's gonna rock tank on. I got so. a tank on. I don't want to be that guy today, but. Alright, yeah, it's Florida, it's allowed. Yeah, it's okay to be in the washroom first day. Eh? That's what he's doing in there. Yeah, I know. I'll do it like Maybe a little bit. Maybe start getting a pump now, bro. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, herbs. Huh? Herbs? Herbs? Pre-workout herbs. Can I pump any of those, you know? Yeah, you gotta like. Chris, should I be eating this? I, I need to fire my trainer, maybe. I don't know. I don't like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no! no. Hey, some people do it, though. Some, a lot of people do it. Exactly. But that I, one, that's full of sugar. Some people love it. I don't like having sugar because it's like high blood sugar, low blood sugar crash. I like to be a little more consistent, yeah. but you know, it's each this their This guy, own. man. <laughs> I'm just looking out for him. Oh my God, did you have your carbs? Buddy, good. Yeah. Oh, just know if I dish right, you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm naming the alpha, I'm gonna kill it, come jump. You have a trainer there? Train with Gambles a lot. Or Gabe, whoever. Yeah. Usually with someone, though. March 9th in Miami, we're gonna do it. Like a funny bodybuilding show. Like a self made one, or are you gonna do an actual show? No, no, like a self made one. Okay, like okay. No voice style. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Are you inviting other people to do it too? Or? No, it's just us. Oh, okay. If you're around, you should come. Yeah, what is it? March 9th. It's the day of UFC Miami. Is that on a weekend? Yeah, Saturday. I think I'll be back with it. Yeah. We might go to like warm up for like 10 years of training for shoulders. I wonder how many people. It's pretty crazy, right? I'm sure you are actually motivating so many oh, people yeah. to a lot of people. switch their lifestyle up and everyone balance I, it everyone out. Everyone I see now, that's all they're really talking about. Now. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I think people are just, they just see us online, so like all they think we do is just great. Yeah. Yeah. So they're just like, well, they're just so polite. amazed, yeah. yeah. Like they don't even think we could do this. Yeah. Oh yeah. How many times did you just change your shirt? Two times? Three times? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that that good with the lighting? You're, you're, not good? Gonna, you're not gonna impress Chris no matter what. It's about yourself. It's about the man. Guys, you're gonna the tripod and shit. Oh, oh my god! How did you know that? I told up. you. How did you know that? Daddy likes to, such a loser. He likes, he likes to make his own entrance. Oh, boy, what's good? What's up, man? Not about his own time. A little tired. 
So you guys already get started? It's so stiny. Sorry. Oh my <laughs> god, it looked like you just got off the good game. It's my fucking dog right here. Let's get this. That was sad, man. I thought good. you were leaving me. Let's get it. Let's get it. Did you go out last night? No. I'm chilling. Do you have any bum energy, bro? I'm tired. There's some pre workout in the back. I'm gonna hit that. And shakers in the box. Alright, I'm gonna hit that. There's a water cooler, too. Should I lead the workout? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, right? You pull up in an Uber or something? Or? <laughs> Yo. Uber two he's, hours? His eyes look like it's bad. He looks at whole like night. He hasn't slept yet. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, yeah. Come on, Alan, bro. Shit, shut up. Alright, let's hit a good lift. We'll All do right, like. Three workouts just hit in. Ready to roll? Let's go. Pre, 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 huddle right here. Pre yeah, so you do a team huddle. really good, too. Hey? Oh, he looks huddle. really good. He's looking better, like. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. I haven't seen him in a minute. He looked like shit before. We're all pulling it together. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get rolling. Okay, let's go. We can use both sides of there for redelts, but we'll superset this. On the, we'll do like three sets. What we'll be doing the lateral raises, the first five, hold it for one, like one or two seconds, back down, hold it for five reps, and then go to failure like this. And then when you're failing there, do half reps to the bottom, so failure, and that's one set. How and many then, reps are like shit. trying to go for? <laughs> A five, hard to hold here, and then try and get eight to ten on the next. And then just whatever you can do, half reps, burn it out. And then just do like 10 to 12 reps on a redelt, just like warm up that scapula in the back. Same arm. Sorry? The arm thing? Yeah. Do it again. And maybe yeah. Like think. I've always heard think like you're pouring something out of the top a little bit. Yeah. Here, some special guests, the good old Nelk boys, made it all the, way, all the way down to Stewart, Florida. Hitting little shoulders here in the private gym. They've been on a fitness bender, getting themselves back in shape. They're doing like a Nelk boys transformation challenge of sorts. It's ending in March. They came down to get a workout in, hit some shoulders. So, just gonna have fun, try to get a nice pump, enjoy the day. You wanna do like a dumbbell shoulder press? Fuck yeah. Arnold press. Arnold. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. No, no cardio bullshit today, right? Oh, okay. Do like a warm up or two or whatever you need. Okay. And then do like a heavy like six to eight rep sitting. Yeah. And then grab a lighter weight behind it and do like an Arnold press standing. Like How many reps? Six like six to eight here and then like ten for the other. Just behave yourself when you sign up. Your forearms are like, yeah, you're down now. Like you just look way good. Oh yeah, let's go, Stani. Oh, 
was three, right? Like three. Hey? Was that three? About three, yeah. Um, The two different guys, but yeah. On both of these, try and like have a one second pause at the top and then three seconds down. Same reps? Yeah. Stay back and down, okay. scapula's back, and the elbows kind of come up. Oh. Your elbows are like up here. Yeah, so what do you do? Right about right? here. Like come on, kid. You gotta be more flexible. Oh. You gotta be more flexible. You gotta be more flexible. Try again. Try it with more. Like just the weight like this. Without even grabbing the band. Try that. Keep the legs up here, right? Bring it like up to your Pretend you have the band in your hand. Nice. Keep that shoulder down. Bring it more in front of you right here. Actually, there. Hey, yeah. Nice. Inhale, just drop. practice that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Sexy. When you're doing it. Don't let your back. Yeah, you're feeling it right here as you pull up. Yeah. That's sexy. Nice, Gabe. Okay, let's try it now, there. Okay, let's go. Go a little wider with your hands. Elbows. Nice. Keep going. Good form. Hi, hi, hi. Take a, like, pull your body back away from it and lean forward a bit. Now go. Like, there. Like that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. It, it's definitely an awkward movement. I can't chill though, that's the problem, bud. Got to work, right? Actually productive too. Yeah. Because usually sure. drinking's productive for us. Too. Like every, we like we don't want to drink, then we drink, we get the best content. Yeah. So now it's nice to have something healthy a that's beneficial. For right? sure, for sure. It's pretty sweet. Nice balance. Yeah. yeah. Or we could try the Murph. We're over here on day we do Murph. Mini Murph? Yeah. Murph is you can't do it now. You just no. shoulders down. I'm waiting yeah. cook. Be cold. Be cooked even if we weren't if we were fresh. You guys should come to the power slap Friday. No. Power slap will be there. Dana's shit. He owns that brand yeah. now, right? Is it crazy? Yeah, well, everyone's in town too, so he, he's getting like everyone to come out to it. It's the first live one where they're like inviting a ton of people. Okay. It's fucking funny. <laughs> it's so funny. There's a few Canadian people there too. Huh? There's a few Canadian guys doing that, no? Yeah. I don't know any of their names. It's, just, it's like almost like going to like half a fight, half a comedy show. No shit. It's it just is. more like I think I everyone's one laughing one. and shit. Really? It's like a party. It's yeah. fun. I'll be down to vote for that. Yeah. Someone's like guaranteed to get knocked out every single time. So it's <laughs> I like... think I watched like a dude got hit and then he like passed out forward and like they didn't count him out because he didn't fall. Oh, and then he woke up, up and like they let him keep going because I guess the rules you have to hit the floor. Yeah. So he literally like passed out on him. the it's fucking so table. Absurd. Yeah. Some of them are like yeah, swollen and all. Like, they can't even see. Here, the, the balcony, so suck off the balcony. Welcome to now. <laughs> okay, let me FaceTime. They're gonna think you guys threw that off, eh? 
Ghetto if you're on the balcony. Uh, how did the orange one fly uh, off? I don't know. It's so it's heavy. It's pretty light. It's huge. It's light. It's kind of light. I, thought, I, thought they bring it it. I know. I thought the house was on fire. But like, you could just like pick it up. Yeah. Like, you know? If the wind got underneath it, it'll... Yeah, yeah, it'll get up. Especially on that building. Windy right there. Yeah, no, it does. But it's been windy out there. Fuck. The weather's not. I guess so. It wasn't on the way left. I don't know where. Are you leaving out of Miami? Are you leaving out of Miami tonight? Go back to us. Holy. Where do you have lunch from? Holy fuck, that, that could have been really bad, bro. Oh, those ones? It was ones? one of those? Yes. Where is it? Fuck, I thought it was the one that Dude, you laid on. Dude, it's a big chair. It's a big chair. That could have been bad. Where is it? I didn't know it was that one. <laughs> that's that's really enough. The joke's thing is someone probably saw that, eh? Like, they're like For looking sure. up, a chair just flying. They're like, <laughs> somebody's gonna die. They would die. Yeah, it's just so heavy. Did you move, we'll get a, like... You think? It's not a light chair, I will say that. I thought it was the one that was, uh... I'm just like, You know the one where you put the... The cushioning, you just, you just pick it up. Oh, no. That type of one, I thought. No, this is like big hollow, one, That's fun. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, man, enough photos. You're not like Brad, dude. There's no rage. Where's the rage at? Because I'm not 260. That's true. <laughs> if I was 260, I'd have some rage, but yeah, I'm like 258. Yeah. So we are here in Atlanta. I've been traveling a lot and not really talking about even what we're traveling for. But the difference with Ron Bum Energy and growing them is that we have to use a lot more distributors for energy because they go into a lot more stores, C stores, convenience stores, gas stations, all that stuff, rather than Raw, which goes in like vitamin shop where we sell a vitamin shop and then they're all across the country or GNC is the same thing. So we have to partner with distributors in each state, each county that 
have good connections with them. They'll sell for us. They'll go to the stores, make sure everything looks good, looks pretty. There's everything in stock on the shelf, everything that we need. So we need to sell the brand to them and then sell the brand to places like QT, Racetrack, 7-Eleven, all that stuff. And they help us get it in all those stores, sell it to them. They already have relationships with them. So it's a much different business. It's not just selling to the end consumer like you guys. We have to convince multiple levels of the business to take it, sell it, and promote it for us, and it helps us kind of grow it. So that's what we've been doing. We've been traveling to states, to different companies to help us go through it. We're in Atlanta right now, trying to get into a bunch of gas stations here. The first one we're going into is going to be in Dallas, Texas. So we're going to be going down there, meeting with them again next week. So huge part of this year is going to be a lot of travel, a lot of meeting with distributors, DSD is what we call them, and just trying to get the brand out there. So this is the breakout year for Bum Energy and Raw. We got some protein RTDs, lots of cool stuff. So that's what we're doing down here in Atlanta, trying to push it out here for lunch. I think it's a sandwich shop. I really hope it is Dom said it is. We're gonna eat, head back home, in and out Atlanta in the same day. So be home tonight. Busy times, gotta love it.